Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I'm here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And she's angry. What am I not angry? <laughs> no, no, I'm just like, this is the clickbaitiest, clickbaitiest, clickbaitiest bullshit I've ever seen. The clickbaitiest, clickbaitiest, clickbaitiest bullshit. And we're going to make a clickbait video. It is a clickbait, is what it is. About the clickbait. That's right. From comic book resources. It's so clickbaity that John Boyega, Finn himself, called them out on their horse poop. And it, yeah, I, other people were tweeting this earlier. It's funny. I actually we were, we were going to do this yesterday, early afternoon, and I didn't get a chance to because we were busy. And then we didn't get to do it all day today because of other things that came up. So now we're finally getting into it. And after we didn't get to it, it was good we had to wait because then John Boyega chimed in. Where if we had done it right away, we wouldn't have got that. Yeah, yeah. So this is funny. We're going to talk about uh, whether or not whether or not Ray is a better Jedi than Anakin or Luke. <clears throat> Uh, yeah, so before we get into the video, please subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. We're only a couple hundred away from 70,000. We were hoping to hit that by the end of October, but I don't know if we're going to. No, um, we tried. We tried. I think YouTube did a purge, and I think we lost a couple hundred somewhere along the way. So, so you guys are really pushing that button, but thank you so much uh, for that. But yeah, so John Boyega chimes in. But let's go to the original article, which is what started this whole thing. Like I said, I came across it yesterday. I think it was our boy Ronaldo. Now all his takeaway is gonna be, oh my god, John Boyega talked about my story. Yeah. Yeah, it's Ronaldo. And yeah. Ronaldo. He's one of our one of our two or three favorite writers over here at Comic Book Resources, which is just a clickbait farm at this point. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, yeah, it used to be an actual news site. But yeah, it came out yesterday, which is why I was gonna cover it yesterday, and then we got busy. So Right. So this uh, is based on a Marvel comic book. Uh, the Rise of Skywalker, Allegiance number three. But again, these comics, Lucasfilm considers these comics to be uh, canon now mm -hmm. because they're all done or overseen by the Lucasfilm story group. I thought so, they, are they still a thing then? I don't know if they're still a thing. Uh, that, they should there's be, a rumor that they're, story they've been disbanded. They're like the Sith. They, so, okay, so let's look at this real quick. So this article, this, you'll love this, guys. At least I didn't call me a man baby this time. So let me, let me, can I have the mouse? Okay, so Rise of Skywalker, pre, Rise of Skywalker prequel proves Rey is a better Jedi than Anakin or Luke. Of course she is. The co in the comic, they make her, yes. Of course she is. She, she's so don't listen to this anymore if you don't want to read spoilers of the comic that no one ever reads. This okay. First paragraph. <laughs> one of the most divisive points of the new Star Wars era is Rey's depiction as a powerful Jedi. In Force Awakens, The Force Awakens, we saw her wielding a lightsaber and fighting off the ruthless and seasoned killer Kylo Ren without training. She also used the mental powers of the Force as if she pretty much was an expert. And this led to haters. Haters. Stupidly. Stupidly. Calling her a Mary Sue when it's clear she's just as much as a chosen one as Anakin was. Uh, okay. You can you can take that one first, and then I'll have some words. Go ahead. Uh, bull poop. <laughs> <laughs> oh, excuse me. Sorry, Mom. I had a cough. Space horse. <laughs> Shit. Oh, excuse Space me. Space horse. <laughs> there Shit. we go. Okay, I just want to see what's Sorry, Mom. Work. Uh, yeah, so, okay, Anakin, who is the chosen one, who's supposed to have, like, the highest midichlorian count in the history of Jedi. No one ever tested her blood for midichlorians. No, nobody ever tested her blood. Um, he, as a child, had some talent, but he was no Jedi. He could pod race, and he could, he could, you know, figure out what the pictures were that Mace Windu had on his iPad, but that was the extent of it. Mm -hmm. And this is the freaking chosen one. Right. Ten years he had to train to be a Jedi. And even then, he screwed up. He got his arm chopped off by Dooku. He didn't listen because he doesn't listen to rules. He doesn't listen to rules. My kind of person. Yeah, the rules aren't for him. Uh, but, you know, um, Luke Skywalker in the first movie, A New Hope, the extent of his Jedi powers. Yeah, he uses the lightsaber a little bit badly. And almost shoots himself in the face with it. Almost, <laughs> yeah, I know, yeah, right? That was, okay. He's not good with it, okay? Uh, the extent of his force powers basically is he turns off the um, the tracking device and is able to, to blow up the Death Star using. Well, the no, force. but the thing is, to be fair though, they actually said that he had a lot of practice back home doing something similar. Shooting to, womp rats, rats, yeah, right. So they made it clear that it he wasn't had solely he had practice, and also he almost got his ass blown up, but because Darth Vader was on his tail. And uh, Han Solo was the one who saved him from getting his butt blown up before he could blow up the the, the big Death Star. The big Death Star, not as big though uh, as, as Star Killer Base. Base. That's they right. They make sure that you know so, that. So right off the bat, 
he had, he didn't do it himself. He couldn't do it himself. He had to have help from his friends, and he you know he couldn't take on Darth Vader. Yeah. So what happens? The first time Luke tries to take on Darth Vader without pro being and, properly and he trained. He had some training. He had some training from Yoda. Um, you know, and and he got his ass kicked. Yeah, and his hand cut off. But you know, to be fair, he wasn't the chosen one. Anakin was, who was Darth Vader. That's but, true. But so you know, comparing the two and saying people are stupid. Because they're calling her Mary Sue. My first words, but after what the hell was that, was she's so Mary Sue. Did I know? I mean, that's what I said. I was like, she's a Mary Sue. It's ridiculous. he has been calling her Mary Sue literally since the, the week The Force Awakens opened. We left the theater. It's like, how did she know how to do all this stuff? Yeah, she knows how to, 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 to you know, fight Kylo Ren's mind invasion. He's been training for years with dark arts. You know, well, you know, dark side of the force. <laughs> yeah. I'm mixing them up here, but you know what I mean. He's been training all this all this time, and you know that's what he does. And she could just like you know, oh no, I I, I just you know, and I'm gonna do it back to, to you and everybody else. Yeah, Ben Solo is a Skywalker, Skywalker bloodline, trained by Luke Skywalker himself uh, for years, mm -hmm. years. Uh, you know, and and here comes here comes uh, Ray, who can wield a lightsaber and beat him in one-on-one -on -one combat. And can fly the Falcon better than Han and knows how to reroute everything better on it than he does. And can fly the Falcon better than Han, yeah, knows how to fix the Falcon. And she could do Jedi mind tricks, which were a pretty uh, powerful, a pretty powerful skill to be learned because we didn't see Luke do a Jedi mind trick until Return of the Jedi. Right, because it was hard. It wasn't something he could just do. Right. And you know, and I didn't see Anakin, the Chosen One, doing him right off, did you? No, Anakin, yeah, he couldn't do his Force choke until uh, Revenge of the Sith. So, but he couldn't do the mind tricks, I'm saying, you know? No. So I'm just like, this wasn't, the, the, the whole thing saying that they, Anakin Sue, or Anakin, Anakin, Anakin Skywalker was a Mary Sue is, is, is just stupid. I shouldn't be drinking before I do this. Yeah, we because, were drinking. It's been one of those days. Because... You know, that's not the case here. That was not the case. But she, like, and then she goes and fights off Kylo Ren. Kylo Ren, who's trained, gets his butt kicked and gets his face cut by, by Rey. Yeah. Who never even, like, you know, picked up a lightsaber until, till that. Until then, right? Um, yeah, so... Th but, this know, is how she's not Mary Sue at all. You know that's exactly how Mary Sue is. This work. is how they explain everything. Now they take the the because they never showed it on screen, so they're gonna show how amazing she is mm -hmm. in the comic. And Marvel's journey to Star Wars: The Rise of Skywalker Allegiance. That's a mouthful. We're seeing the truth, and it has nothing to do with luck. Ray's not a fluke or simply being given power boost for mere plot convenience. Yes, she is. You're you're literally retconning this now. She really and truly is a better, better Jedi than Anakin, or for that matter, Luke, uh, ever were at this stage in both of their careers. So let's, let's examine this. They have literally gone and made a comic simply to show that she's better than these guys after the fact of the movies because people were complaining she was Mary Sue. Yes. They retconned their own stuff yes. to prove that she was better. Even and though there's no reason for her to be better. She's so good. Like, this guy's arm is not finished. Where's his arm? Anyway. Um, so... Yeah, they are. They're, they're, yeah, they do this. This is what makes me so mad about the sequel trilogy. Okay, beyond the fact that it's just dumb and it's apocrypha, is that they never explain stuff on screen. Like, what the hell is the First Order? No, because they want you to have to go buy shit. You have to go so buy the, more, This is a Disney thing. Yeah, go buy the, go buy the tie-in merch. Go buy the merch. Uh, nobody cares. The casual moviegoers, like, they were totally confused. Most people just watch the Star Wars live action movies and that's it. They don't watch the cartoons. Most, they're not going to go read these books. These they're not going to read books. these books. No. They're not going to read the comic books. Most of them don't read the novels. They're not going to play a lot of the tie-in video games. The, the average Joe and Jane moviegoer, they're going to go see the main movies. I remember people being pretty confused at Solo, the few people that were there, but it was going to break records, remember, being confused when uh, Darth Maul shows up at the end. Yeah. Because they're like, what the hell? Now, if you watch the cartoons... Then you know. Then you know they miraculously brought him back to life through the yeah. power of robotics but uh, yeah you wouldn't know people I mean, are, what the hell they killed the people, that people are now the people that are like pro you know the, all this stuff are screaming right now they retconned their own stuff in the original trilogy well they did because they made uh originally they were setting up like luke and leia thing and they eventually yeah. made them brother and sister so that is true in that regard but that's not in regards to people being Mary Sue and then they're doubling down on why she's the bestest ever. And here's the thing. She's a chosen one. Well, kind of the chosen one refers to one. You already had a chosen one. You already had the force balanced. You literally dug up 
the story dug up to make a new chosen one just to rebalance your shit. I mean, that's what you did. Sorry, mom. That's what you did. It's only balanced if a woman brings balance to the force and puts uh, Palpatine down. Well, I'm bringing balance to the bullshit. All right. I'm a woman. So that by by that that, that logic, I have more weight and I am I am bringing balance to the BS. That you are. That you are, dear. Uh, we must remember Luke had a mentor to start... Okay, this is where it gets the bullshit. Luke had a mentor to start him off on Tatooine, Obi-Wan Kenobi, who ironically mentored Anakin along with Qui-Gon and the Fan Menace. Anakin had an entire Jedi Council overseeing things, one he could rely on if need be, even after Qui-Gon died. As for Luke, as he progressed, he also had Master Yoda to train with on Dagobah, continuing the cycle of Masters and Apprentices. Now, here comes some bullshit. Here it comes. In other words, both of the Skywalker soldiers got hands-on advice and experts to show them the way at various stages in their Jedi life. Rey doesn't have this luxury, which is what makes her meteoric rise all the more impressive. You literally are trying to... I can't even. That literally is a Mary Sue. I know! Well, somebody even in the comments said, you know what? Your whole argument just proved what you were, you know? Yes. <laughs> when the Skywalker boys, including including Anakin, who's, you know... Who is the chosen one. The, supposed to be potentially the most powerful Jedi that ever lived, needed someone to show him how to Jedi... Along comes Rey, who doesn't need nobody to show her how to do nothing. And she can use a lightsaber. She can do mind tricks. She can do... Now, the one fan theory that actually did make sense that I was, you know, hoping they would have actually kind of gone for in The Last Jedi was, oh, Rey is a reincarnation of Anakin. I'm like, okay, in that case, if they were going to go all uh, Avatar on it, I guess it's it more make, believable. It kind of make sense. I guess that I, I would give you a pass kind of on that. It's kind of dumb, but I would give you a pass on that. You literally just told us why she is a Mary Sue. Yeah. Because she didn't need Somebody anybody to train her. Somebody that up in the comments, too. Uh, Good you know. God almighty. In this comic prequel, uh, which uh, in December's Rise of Skywalker from Ethan Saxon Company, we're seeing Rey f fighting four sensitive monsters in training, going on scavenging missions unsupervised, battling killer droids and using weapons in a way we didn't see the Skywalkers doing. She's better than they Because are. they're literally retconning this crap to make her better. All of this shapes her into a one-woman army at times, just like a Mary Sue. It's quite evident when there's unrest at Mon Cala and General Leia goes to find reinforcements for the resistance. Ray's found using her staff like a boomerang, spinning it with her mind alone and basically showing up the basic skills we saw from Annie or Luke. I some flips here and there and basic swordsmanship. Ray's on a high level, not to mention she's got the mind tricks down along with advanced usage of forced telekinesis. And apparently she's going to have healing powers is one of the rumors. Oh and my all God. This other Seriously, a comparison of the three and their abilities at this current stage shows that like it or not, Ray stands head and shoulders above the rest. They're literally just trying to, to make it sound like, I don't even think I can listen to any more of this. She, she's not even leaning on Leia's knowledge of the Force. She doesn't even need Leia. As much as she simply harnesses the brief lessons Luke taught her in the last Brief job. lessons, yeah. They are they're pretty damn brief. Yeah, Luke can mansplain. I, honestly, I think it's as simple as that. I think they could not have Luke teach her because that would be mansplaining. Mm -hmm. I really even think it's that simple. He was the Jedi Master who happened. Yeah, he was yeah. the last Jedi. Dude. Um, except for Leia, who can fly. Apparently has Jedi powers too now. Well, I mean, yeah. I, I can understand Leia ha being trained. That makes sense, actually. But, you know. Oh, God. It shows how intelligent she is and that no learning curve's too steep for her. Again, proving why she's a Mary Sue. In fact, all she has are sacred texts from uh, Octu, which means without translators or curator to guide her, feats and progression are all the more impressive. She can't even read this shit. Look but what yeah, she can she, do. She just absorbs it through osmosis. It's a miracle. It's amazing to see her developing you so quickly. You stupid moron. Stop calling her Mary Sue. <laughs> it's amazing to see her developing so quickly by simply deciphering the ancient books compared to Luke and his dad, who took the time to steadily move up the ladder. Yes, they're, it's they're, amazing, isn't it? But not just that, because there was a ladder. Now there's not one. You had to. You, Anakin had to do it, but they're by holding him back. Yeah, Anakin. And yes, and even then, child Anakin had the very, very seed of of Jedi ability. It wasn't until the second movie that we saw him uh, become a Jedi, and even then, he screwed up. Mm -hmm. You know, it wasn't until the third movie where. 
you know, we actually kind of saw him at sort of peak power. But you know what else was good about the other movies? was It was it was a team thing. It was like they were always like, you know, they, Luke might go off for a little bit on his own type of stuff, but they still came back to fight as a team. You know, he was on the Death Star. They were down on Endor, you know, but they all worked together as a team. And on this, I don't, you don't ever get the vibe of team. It's always just Ray, 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 Ray. And then like, oh yeah, yeah, Finn and Poe over here. You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you don't have that uh, ensemble. Which they're going to try to push for this one because they're trying to bring that feeling back. Well, you already lost that you feeling. Lost you lost that love and feeling. It's gone, gone, gone. It's gone. It's gone. So I love Ray's definitely on her way to outclassing the Skywalkers. Should she survive Palpatine's assault and whatever the First Order has played? Well, who cares? Because Palpatine's nothing compared to Rey. Rey Rey's got the touch. She's got the power. Uh, the <laughs> fact Leia's letting her do her own thing. She doesn't need a teacher. She's just so good at well, this. Well, Leia flipping was in space and has been in a coma for how long? It's like Leia wakes up and goes like, yeah, you're a badass, all right. I, you don't need no teaching. This is so ridiculous. She trusts Rey, knows she's a talent, the likes of which the galaxy has never seen before. That's why Palpatine's now seemingly obsessed with her the same way Snoke How was. dare they, because they're they're male. How dare they? He's, he's just out to oppress her and tell her no. He, Palpatine is coming with the Sith, the ancient Sith power of the glass ceiling he's gonna he's gonna put it right on top of her and smack her down so she knows where work. her face belongs it's not gonna work she's gonna bust through that ceiling because she's the bestest most powerful ever but go ahead tell me i'm a man baby you're a man baby this reinforces that sure ray might currently be more powerful than the skywalkers but in the grand scheme of things she's also shaping oh up to be God. the strongest jedi of all time this is the biggest load of horse manure Okay. This is no, no. Space what, no, what really gets funny is when you go to the comments down trash. here. Trash. Oh, there's a lot more. There's three the other day, but this one I love. <laughs> so yeah, she's kind of a Mary Sue, right? Not that I slight the character, but just say it. And then one person was down here. Yeah, first they don't think she's better than either of them. It's just that this trilogy has been lazy and not given us a training sequence. Also, she's not the chosen one. And B, while I don't think she's a Mary Sue, you ha you haven't exactly <laughs> done the argument any favors with your reasoning. I know, right? You literally just laid out why she is a Mary Sue. Must be nice to live in a bubble where all your man-hating dreams come true. Oh my goodness. She's so much greater peg warmer than either Luke or Anakin. <laughs> okay, let me get this straight. In their first real fight against seasoned opponents, Anakin lost the fight to Dooku, lost an arm. Luke lost a fight to Vader, lost a hand. Rey completely wrecked Kylo Ren. Not a Mary Sue! <laughs> yeah. Exactly! Oh my god. I just, I can't. Yeah. Oh, here they're trying to make it. Kylo just took a big blaster shot to the chest from Chewie. And they never even finished the fight, but okay. What? I just... <laughs> anyway, at the end of the day, she's a flippin' Mary Sue. And you know what? I couldn't have even made the argument better than this article made it. Like, there's things here I didn't even think of because the comic has added more stuff. So you know what? This article is, is so much better than any argument for her being a Mary Sue that I could have given. God, this is the this is exactly the problem with her. She's never been tested, never faced any real adversity, and somehow is the best Jedi ever. Anakin was space Jesus. He trained for over a decade with Obi Wan, Yoda, and other actual Jedi. Had access to everything the Jedi Order had to offer, and he lost his first fight against the Sith Lord. Yeah, exactly. that's true. And he's the chosen one. Mm -hmm. And he gets his freaking arm cut off because he was too cocky and he thought he was right. better than he actually was. Um, yeah, the Force is strong. His family had training from Luke. Uh, you know, we had trained from Obi-Wan Yoda. I'll be at far less than Anakin. He, Anakin, he lost his first fight with the Sith Lord. And that Sith Lord was more machine than man. Uh, yeah, because Vader was basically crippled at that point. Mm -hmm. I mean, he was still a badass, but he was, you know, just like 25% of what he could have been. Um, so she basically, yeah, raised a nobody. They just kind of pick her up off the, the desert plant, one of like 19 desert plants in Star Wars now, and hand her a lightsaber. Yeah. yeah. And, uh, but she didn't look in down the hole, so that makes her automatically better right there. Yeah, uh, I don't want to look into the hole. Um, but yeah, so so she 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 kicks uh, Kylo Ren's ass with no problem. Uh, fights off a whole bunch of uh, Snoke's guards uh, with no problem, barely breaking a sweat. Mm -hmm. um, and I guarantee you, she's going to be the one that finishes off Palpatine and the Rise of Skywalker because we had to bring Palpatine back so Rey could put him down. I just like the last sentence. As far as I'm concerned, the main story of the Skywalkers ended with the end of Ewoks. <laughs> yes. And you know what? I'm going to take a moment here. That is the best ending ever. I actually love the Ewoks. I have mentioned it before. Don't like the porks, but I love Ewoks because they're furry cute little 
oh my god, they're so cute. And they, 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 they stab people and hit them with rocks and they kick their ass, but they were doing it with being cute and furry. And I like them. And I like the Return of the Jedi, so I don't care if you don't like it. Mm, still better than this stuff. Yub nub, mofo. That's right. I just want to look up the definition of a Mary Sue. According to Wikipedia, Mary Sue is an idealized and seemingly perfect fictional character. Typically, this character is recognized as an author insert or wish fulfillment. They usually perform better at tasks than should be possible, given the amount of training and experience, and usually are able through some means to upstage the protagonist of an established fictional setting, such as by saving the hero or being better than the Skywalkers with no effing training. But I keep going about the Skywalker, the Skywalker saga, the Skywalker saga, the Skywalker saga. Well, you ruined Luke, gave him no time in the first one. You ruined Luke in the second one, and the only one that's left that the Skywalker is, is, is you could be argued, is Ben. It's like Kylo. Yeah, and yeah, even, even a watered-down Skywalker with training is going to be better than some rando. Yeah, and even when you look at a, 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 a you know a three act play, the, the three act, which is the standard, a trilogy, whatever, and they have these trilogies. The middle arc is always the one where you're going up, it's building, it's building, it's building, it's building, and something happens, it has to be solved. They already solved it. It doesn't make any sense. These last three movies were completely unnecessary, and I'm so flipping tired of hearing about Ray. I just am. And I'm a girl who likes strong female characters. I don't think she is one. No. I think she's just, you know, I think it's like, you know, you want to talk about fake geek girls, that's Ray. Ray's a fake geek. She's a fake Jedi. John Boyega. This is this is great. John Boyega. He is going to... He is the one of all the sequel actors. John Boyega is going to dish the hardest after this is all over. He's already been... Like, you can tell he's biting his tongue. And I think Finn was done dirty. I think Finn, Finn had was. Finn had a great uh, arc. I think Poe was going. Too, they they both were, and then they were basically whatever legitimate uh, character development they had in the Force Awakens. They they undid it in the Last Jedi. Finn and Poe, I think, were set. They really really awesome, and I really liked them. Those were two of the things in the Force Awakens I actually really liked were those two. Mm. And then in the next movie, frankly, just for the the, the purpose of elevating Ray. And inserting uh, OCs for Ryan Johnson, they were completely treated like garbage to elevate these OCs. And I'm sorry, but that's what it was. Like, we, oh, we can't have these people want more Finn and, and uh, Poe. That, no, it's no. about Ray. It's all about and Ray. And about my new OCs I'm going to interject with Rose and, uh, and uh, Holdo. Holdo. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. John... They did the flipping poor Admiral Akbar. I know, right? Uh, John Boyega. I'm sorry, guys, but Anakin is slapping us all in a pit of lava, including Kylo. Ha ha, ha ha, ha ha. Look at the reactions. <laughs> yes. 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 I did a double take to make sure it was really John saying that. Anakin can't even breathe properly. Just take off his mask. Ray can't even fight without having mind sex with his solo <laughs> <friend. laughs> John understands. Wow, speechless. He speaks the truth. And that's on, period. Uh, and can be like... <laughs> yeah. No, I just thought it was funny that he said that. And people, like, I, I saw that they shared it. And I was like, it's so funny because we were just going to do this thing yesterday. So it's a good thing we didn't do it yesterday because we wouldn't have got this. It's never too late to tell the truth. Yeah, it's just, it's, I mean, come on. Ah. So we gotta we gotta wrap this one up. We're gonna wrap this one up. I, this I is the go ahead. Ah, uh, just bullshit. It's just bullshit. The I whole could thing is bullshit. never make an argument better for why she's a Mary Sue than that person did for their argument when they're trying to say why she's not. They argued better about why she's a Mary Sue with some things I never would even thought of that made her more Mary Sue. So I applaud them. That is the best Mary Sue pro Mary Sue argument I've ever seen, even though it was meant to be a. Anti Mary Sue argument. Was it? Was this? Were we being trolled? Is no, Ronaldo clickbait? This whole thing's clickbait. Is Ronaldo alt right? <laughs> you put it out. I, there. I think he is. <laughs> I think he's. Fa I think he's fandom menace, and he's writing these articles. Oh no, I don't think. Just he is, pointing out. I think he was paid, and he and he gets clickbait, and he's gonna he hit the jackpot. John Boyega even said something, so everybody's gonna go look at this article now. So this is clickbait, and it worked. John Boyega smacked my ass down. Yes. 
<laughs> cha ching! Doesn't matter if we smacked your ass up or down. The fact they smacked your ass is all that counts. Sorry, mom. Anyways. <laughs> I have nothing else to say, so I'm going to wrap this one All up. Right. Uh, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants here on Clownfish TV. This has been Neon and Geeky. Bye. Goodbye. Hey, guys. Thanks for watching Clownfish TV. Please consider supporting the channel. Go to clownfishsupport.com. That's clownfishsupport.com. And if you want to join our community, go to clownfishtalk.com. That's clownfishtalk.com. Please subscribe. Ring the bell for notifications. We will talk to you next time.